In 24 hours, the Oregon State women's basketball team will tip off with the Sweet 16 with top 25 matchup against Notre Dame. Now, for many on the team, this is truly a, a special moment, including for Oregon natives Donovan Hunter and Kennedy Schuler, who are both freshmen on the team. And our coverage sponsored by Lander King's Custom Woodworking, KZI 9 sports reporter Brett Taylor explains why getting to this point has meant so much to them. Live report from Albany. Brett. Yeah, it's funny to think how just last year, Kennedy Schuler and Donovan Hunter were rivals competing in the 6A tournament. Both of these players representing the state of Oregon at the highest level of high school basketball are now about to represent their state on the national level. And what makes this story so much more special is how these two players have turned a once known rivalry in the state of Oregon into an incredible friendship while at Oregon State. It's hard to imagine that just a year ago, Oregon State freshman Kennedy Schuler and Donovan Hunter were rivals at the state level. The first time I ever met her, she beat me in the state tournament, so that's the first thing I remember. For two years, Kennedy and Donovan faced off in the 6A tournament for Barlow and South Medford, trying to help their teams win a state title. This girl is always tough. Um, I mean, there was a lot of things. We had a strategy to have someone help her. Um, or guard her in the front court because she's so skilled with that. When we played together, played against each other, we just um, we battled obviously, um, and we're both just fierce competitors. We love to win and we love the game. But in the span of less than a year, the now teammates have turned what was once considered a rivalry here in Oregon into an amazing friendship, both on and off the court. We became friends off the court, which is super special, and I think that actually helps us on the court, just that bond. Freshman year, you go through a lot of changes, um, so to have someone, especially having her with me, you know, it, it creates a bigger bond beyond basketball. What was kind of your reaction for both of you when you found out, oh, hey, Kennedy's going to be my teammate going forward, and for you, Kennedy, Donald's going to be my teammate at Oregon State? I was excited just because on the defensive end, her energy is so... It's always up here, um, and I think for we both strive off defense and the defensive energy. I was super excited as well, and then when we found out we were roommates, we were super excited to you know, start playing. It was in our dorm and <laughs> all that stuff, and uh, so yeah, it's been super cool, and I've really loved my experience being her teammate. How did you guys become roommates? Was that something that you two decided when you met? You're like, hey, let's be roommates, or was that something through the team or coaches? Like, How did that kind of come to be? I don't really know how it happened. I think Scott... Um, mentioned that we would we could be roommates mm -hmm. oh it was uh we could be roommates or we could pick someone else um and i think we just kind of decided that we wanted to be roommates together we just got along super well <laughs> yeah. so it just was kind of a no-brainer for us yeah with our experiences you know our short little small talk moments of meeting each other it felt like it wasn't a forced conversation and i think that's people don't talk about that a lot going into freshman year when you're stuck in a dorm with someone you know it's hard to create bonds and you don't want to force those things so for us, it was really easy because we already bonded and clicked really fast. Throughout the last several months, these two have spent days getting to know one another, going on adventures, watching sunsets, eating food at new places, and have even found out some things that most people wouldn't know looking at the surface. She's ridiculously funny, but you wouldn't know at first because if you don't fully know her to a T, she, you know, she's... She sits back and observes, um, so I didn't know that, she, I mean, you assume someone could be funny, um, but the more I got to know her, the more her personality came out. I would say Donna's like, she's super clean, um, and I really respect that about her because I love <laughs> when things are like this, so having a clean, a clean roommate is, is very, very nice, good. Nice it's a friendship that is truly special, and it's one that the two will cherish as they get set for their first Sweet 16 game in their young careers. It's surreal. Um, I'm super grateful to be here. I remember, you know, watching it growing up, watching March Madness, and and not even knowing that I could be here right now. So, um, yeah, it's a super cool experience for us, and uh, definitely couldn't have done it without this amazing team. It's like a full circle moment that we're now here, um, and like she said, it, we wouldn't be here without the effort of our team and how hard we work, um, and all the behind, behind the scenes stuff that we have to do, all the long hours. Um, so. It's just a surreal thing and trying to take it all in.